on the latest buzz in the entertainment world. Mike from 105 on the buzz joining us live. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning. morning. All right, that was Jason Aldean bringing us back, and that's uh -huh. because we need to talk about him. So he's apparently responding to some backlash over a new single that has been deemed pretty controversial. Yeah, not that hit song. Not that one. Very that one's from a while lyrics ago. Very different than this new one. No, this song that we're talking about now is called Try That in a Small Town. It was released in May. It's a single on his new upcoming album, which I believe is set to be released in just a couple weeks. But if you watch the music video, which has now been pulled for CMT, which a quick aside, I got to give CMT credit for still playing music videos in 2023. <laughs> yeah. But uh, CMT did pull the music video. It's very polarizing. It uses a lot of news footage from various protests and riots that have gone over, over the past few years. And uh, some critics of the song have come out and said it promotes gun violence and lynching. And the reason they're calling uh, it a promotion of lynching is because part of the video where Jason Aldean is filming is in front of the Morrow County Courthouse in Tennessee, where there were uh, the Columbia race riots back in 1946 and an 18-year-old was lynched in front of back in 1927. Uh, so those things came out. So then Jason Aldean took to Twitter, as everybody does still these days, I think, uh, and made a statement about it and said, when you grow up in a small town, that's the unspoken rule we all have each other's backs and we look out for each other it feels like somewhere along the way the sense of community and respect has gotten lost deep down we're all ready to get back to that i hope my new music video helps you know that you're not alone in feeling that way go check it out and he's really trying to say that the song is about building a sense of community and righting all the wrongs that we've done in the past so it, it, it's the fence is kind of out there, but there's other celebrities that are coming out now. Cheryl Crow made a statement, said, I'm from a small town and there's nothing about uh, America that is promoting violence in our small town. So uh, it's quite controversial. Yeah, it's interesting. I, I remember, you know, the, the lyrics of the song making a little bit of a wave when it first came out, like you said earlier this year. And now that the music video is out and the choice of material visuals combined with this it's just it's one of those things where it's like he, he can he can say that he didn't mean for it to be taken that way but mm -hmm. if you're overwhelmingly getting this response from people I, maybe sit down and, and and look at the ways that you're not seeing that and why why are, why why yeah. is this so shocking to you that everyone else is looking at this saying oh my goodness this right. is not okay yeah, and Jason Aldoon's notoriously been outspoken in the past yeah. years about his, you know, political stances and slightly problematic. There was, there was an issue with him dressing up as Little Wayne. I won't get into the details about that for Halloween about five or six years oh, ago. Boy, and those pictures up. were surfacing around the Internet. So, yeah. you know. Sometimes you got to sit back and think about what you're doing and, and the message you're putting out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, we'll see how that plays out. Time will tell how this controversy really I think CMT was uh, really smart to pull that video. I'll say that. Yeah. 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 Um, to a less controversial mm. celebrity, we all love Matt Damon, right? <laughs> uh, Matt Damon almost took a break from acting, and then he got a phone call that he said, nope, I'm in it for this one. What was it? Yeah. Apparently, Matt Damon's just like the rest of us. He's been going to couples therapy with his wife for a few years now, and they uh, struck a deal in one therapy session. He didn't get into explicit details, but he said he wanted to take a break from acting and that the only way he wouldn't is if Christopher Nolan, the renowned director, called him and said, I got a role for you. And his wife agreed to <laughs> those exactly terms. Right and they, <laughs> yeah. In their therapy session, his wife agreed to those terms. And then just a couple weeks later, guess who called? Chris Nolan. And now oh he's going to be in the new movie Oppenheimer, which is getting uh, incredible publicity and reviews. And people are saying it's going to be one of the best films of the year. So wow. we'll see how that That's plays That's wild. Out. So, that is really what, funny. He did, manifested it. Do you think nice that, that his wife believed him? Like, honey, you'll never <laughs> guess who just called. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's Chris Nolan on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially after some of the movies that Matt Damon's put out over the past few years. I'm actually surprised he got that call from Chris oh, Nolan. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Shots fired. I oh, could say on. that to my Boston boy. He wears Yankees hats at Red Sox. <gasps> he was just, Does he? He was just repping Oregon and air. Come on. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah. yeah. 
that that one flew under the radar for me. At, at this point, that, but I'm happy wanna... to support any non problematic men in Hollywood, and he's one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I, think so. I think we all are. Oh, right. Well, Mike, you're not one of them either, so yeah. we'll, we'll, oh. we'll see you tomorrow. Take care, guys. Take care. Have a good and one. you can listen to Liz and Mike every weekday morning on 105.1 The Buzz.